Oh, we'll see. Oh, this shit is just uh, me fucking around on the road. Did you write this? Fucking weird shit. Yeah, of course. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's do our best to fuck it all up. Leaving behind a pretty corpse? That shit's for the movies. This is the real world. It's a world of thieves, liars, and misconceptions. Let's try and beg some change. Not the ones who really need it. Losing your mind or freeing your mind. It's all the same in the end. The pretty people? They coast through life. Let's dive a little deeper. Take it for what it's truly worth. They might think they know, but they don't. No one does. Who writes the rules? Not those who blindly abide. Let's kill their dreams. Bury their superficial beliefs. We're all hypocrites. Take the land back. Take your mind back. It was never even yours. Let's do our damn best. Try and fix it all up. Come with me. Yeah! Internet is not working. Yeah. Oh no! Make it up. Oh no! <laughs> I lost my notebook and luckily some of this shit was online, so it's uh, funny how Facebook and Twitter are helping a revolution. <laughs> it is funny. What the fuck? This is not working. I, I'm like way too fucking stoned for this. Too. Can you help me like connect this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait! You want to go to Facebook? <laughs> oh, you want to go back to the TV? Uh, it's not, there's no connection, there's nothing with it. Oh, okay. I, I lost the connection. Anyway. What's it then? Okay. No. Uh, you got to connect it. Oh. <laughs> Tell the joke. Technical difficulties. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, stop the police. Why do they bury cops 10 feet under? What? Because deep down they're really good people. <laughs> <laughs> Tell another one. Have you ever seen a shiny spot on a piece of shit? No. No. Cop said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no more fuck the police. We get back to some real talk. All right, this is crazy. This is uh, the first thing I. I, I just went out for it and I did it, and uh, some old lady cried and gave me water at the end of it. So it was awesome. Like, I don't know if it's a fucking poem. People tell me this is poetry, but I don't think so. It's just like my fucking brain fucking going crazy and screaming about shit. Guess I'm kind of angry my mom used to say something. I love you, Dad. Coffee not cops! Coffee not cops! I do have a fucking notebook, but they locked it to this fucking trunk and I can't get hold of them. Like going through this Steve Jones is not man of the year. He's just not ready yet. He's just ready. Alright, you've done this since day one. You've told me what color to wear as a child. You've stated the cool, dingy, and worthy to be beaten on playgrounds. You've fed me plastic processed garbage for years. You've told me to blindly abide by the rules and not follow the rules. You've told me to fuck my mind. 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 You tried to sell me slave constructed plastic I don't actually need. You don't give a damn about me. This relationship, it never worked for me. Some people, it's all they have. They love having their individuality stripped from them. Me, I'm through. Get the fuck out. Leave me alone. Why can't you ever just leave me alone? You've done enough. You suck the last dollar out of me that I will ever donate to your cause. I broke my last dead end job in which I'm just a number. No access to health coverage or dental. You probably just like us dead. Sickly and toothless, we'll still be there, more than ever. Now there's a monster growing underneath your nose. We're growing by the day, and the cause is obvious. It is inevitable. Rebellion is necessary. Potential energy will convert into kinetic. We will not always just stand on the sidelines to watch as you ruin this world. Equality, and not in a homogenous, commercialized, stagnant sense. But true, infinite equality with no limits is coming. And beautiful individuality for celebrity or religion is not the ideal. But we cherish that which each and every shining personality has to bring to the table. You said we bullshit lies and pharmaceutical drugs for too long. We said I we buy when we destroy our consciousness and this world at the same time. All sense of community seems to be lost, but this is just the way you want it. There is more than this. 
We need a fucking way of how to not be your endless brainwash. I will not be a slave to new technology or anything else. I will not be a slave to repression. And would you tell me I'm alienated? Motherfucker, it's normal. It's not in fact honorable to be depressed in a world such as this. So get the fuck out of my head. Why the fuck can't you just see I don't need you? We don't need you. So just leave us the fuck alone. We're building an army. Lovers, haters, fighters. Till the end. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. And last thing I got, uh, I wrote it. I was, my head was in a weird fucking place, which happened in the fuck San Francisco. Had nothing to do with fucking acid, though. <laughs> but, uh, I think I should tell you that day. <laughs> um, at Harley Strictly Bluegrass, like, I wrote this later. <laughs> and, uh, right. I, we were watching this really fucking crazy documentary, and I'm just, like, lying on the floor, a little fucked up. And I wrote some fucking crazy shit, and my friend really liked it, so I'll read a few. Uh, it's about losing honeybees. Kinda. Not really so much, but, yeah. Bees disappearing from their hive. Lost honeybees with no hive. I want to take all these men, white men. They make you look the same. All of you, you look so white, look so like a machine. Take that fucking tie, I want to tighten it around your throat. Choke, choke, choke. All fucking life from you, it's killing you. The news you wear daily, fuck your life, fuck your lie. I'm a lost honeybee, I never had a hive.